Hello and welcome to this English language profile on Kamala Harris. This is my channel, Learning English Pro, and my name is Jer. I'll be narrating your lesson today. Kamala Harris is now the Vice President of the United States of America. We can also refer to her now as Madam Vice President. She is certainly a woman of firsts. In her new role, she is the first woman of colour to become Vice President. She is also the first African American Vice President and also the first Asian American Vice President. And she is the highest ranking female elected official in United States history. In this video, we will explore her background and career as she got to this new role. Kamala Harris was born in Oakland, California on the 20th of October, 1964. A lot of people are having difficulty with pronouncing her name. It's actually quite easy. Kamala. Kamala. Repeat after me. Kamala. Kamala. Her mother was Shyamala Gopalan, who arrived in the United States of America from India in 1958. Kamala's mother is notable because she became a biologist whose work advanced research into breast cancer. It's also interesting that Shyamala's father, P.V. Gopalan, was a highly ranked Indian civil servant. In the picture on the screen, you can see P.V. Gopalan with his young granddaughter, Kamala. Kamala's father is Donald J. Harris, who arrived in the United States from Jamaica in 1961. He was a professor of economics at Stanford University. Kamala has one younger sister, Maya Harris, born in 1967. Maya Harris is an American lawyer, public policy advocate and writer. Kamala's parents divorced when she was seven. When she was 12, Kamala and her sister moved with her mother to Montreal, which is in Quebec in Canada, where Shyamala had accepted a research and teaching position. Kamala attended French-speaking schools in Canada until she attended college in Washington, D.C. in 1982. In Washington, she attended Howard University and graduated in 1986 with a degree in political science and economics. She then returned to California to attend law school at the University of California, Hastings College of the Law. She graduated with a Juris Doctor in 1989 and was admitted to the California Bar in June 1990. For our English vocabulary today, we're going to have a look at these two terms, Juris Doctor and the Bar. These are legal terminology. A Juris Doctor degree is the highest law degree in the United States. A Juris Doctor or Juris Doctorate degree represents a professional recognition that the holder has a doctoral degree in law. Okay, let's move on to our other legal term, the bar. In law, the bar is the legal profession as an institution. The term is a figure of speech for the line that separates the parts of the courtroom reserved for spectators and those reserved for participants in a trial, such as lawyers. Oh, and by the way, I have a special announcement. If you're a teacher and you want your class to feature on Learning English Pro, leave a comment below and I will get in touch with you. I am hearing from lots of my followers all around the world and I'd like to feature you guys. So if your class wants to send me a picture or a video, I will feature them in my next few videos. Okay, let's get back to our Madam Vice President. In 1990, she was hired as a Deputy District Attorney in Alameda County, California. And in 1994, she was appointed to the State Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board and later to the California Medical Assistance Commission. In February 1998, Kamala was then hired as the Assistant District Attorney in San Francisco. 
There, she became the chief of the career criminal division, supervising five other attorneys, where she prosecuted homicide, burglary, robbery, and sexual assault cases. In August 2000, Kamala took a new job at San Francisco City Hall. She ran the Family and Children's Services Division, representing child abuse and neglect cases. And in 2002, she decided to run for the Office of District Attorney of San Francisco. Kamala won with 56% of the vote, becoming the first person of colour elected as District Attorney of San Francisco. She served in this role from 2004 to 2011. If you're enjoying this video on Kamala Harris, make sure to check out my profile coming very soon on President Joe Biden. Click the link on screen right now to bring you to that video. Kamala's mother, Shyamala, died of colon cancer in Oakland on February the 11th, 2009. A year prior to her mother's death in 2008, Kamala decided to run for the Office of Attorney General of California. In the general election in 2010, Kamala faced Republican Steve Cooley. The election was held on November 2nd, and on November the 25th, he conceded the race to Kamala. She was sworn in on January the 3rd in 2011. She is the first woman, the first African American and the first South Asian American to hold the office of Attorney General in the state's history. She held the office from 2011 to 2017. In 2014, she married attorney Doug Emhoff on August 22nd in Santa Barbara, California. Kamala is a stepmother to Doug's two children from his previous marriage. In 2016, she ran for the office of US Senator for California, and in the November election, she defeated Loretta Sanchez and won the role. She served in this role until 2020. Before we move on to our last segment, the presidential race, let me tell you about my vocabulary lesson on the American election. It's full of wonderful new words and covers profiles on both candidates. Click the link on screen now to bring you to that video. On January 21st, 2019, Senator Harris officially announced her candidacy for President of the United States in the 2020 United States presidential election. However, on December 3rd, 2019, she withdrew from seeking the 2020 Democratic nomination, citing a shortage of funds, and then went on to endorse Joe Biden for president. On August 11, 2020, Biden announced that he had chosen Senator Harris as his vice presidential candidate. She is the first African American, the first Indian American, and the third woman to be picked as the vice presidential nominee for a major party ticket. And in the results of the race, Joe Biden was declared the winner of the 2020 United States presidential election, and Kamala Harris thus became the vice president elect. And on January 2020, she formally became the 49th Vice President of the United States of America. She has certainly had a remarkable journey from her beginnings in Oakland, California. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Kamala Harris is really a fantastic figure and I enjoyed learning about her. I hope you did too. On my channel, Learning English Pro, I'm always publishing new videos with lots of new English vocabulary. Click the link on screen now to bring you to some of my latest and greatest lessons. And coming up on screen are even more suggestions for you. Make sure to check out my social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.